guys, welcome to today's vlog. So on the vlog today, what we're gonna be focusing on is this medium length shag style haircut, but also it has a cool curtain bang so it really opens up the face and we create a nice little face frame as well. So I think that this is gonna be a cool haircut that you can use in the salon right away. The inspiration for today's haircut came from this photo. Came from this photo right here. As you can see, there's a curtain bang kind of flowing down into a little bit of a face frame and then it's just a really uh, blunt edge on the cut, but then it has a lot of movement. So what I wanted to do is show you guys how to create that blunt edge, but then also have movement throughout the layers. So uh, we break it up into a couple parts. It's a very simple technique to create this look. So you guys know me by now and you know that I love new technology. So this iron is pretty awesome in the fact that it has this quick release lock mechanism, but then it locks into place. So you can literally set this iron wherever you want it uh, it's, that makes you the most comfortable while you're working. So a couple things I really like about it, and I'll talk about it in the video, but the fact that I didn't have to raise my elbow up like this to work the hair around the iron, I could just drop my elbow down and wrap the hair just like that. Keeps me way more comfortable, keeps me from having to lift my arm up to uh, stay uncomfortable and also wear out your shoulders and all of that. So pretty cool tool. So just like all the neuro tools that Paul Mitchell makes, this thing heats up super fast, up to 450 degrees in just seconds. It's also a patent pending design, so you're not gonna be able to get this anywhere else. And it has an extra long barrel made of isotherm titanium, and it has a two year warranty. So pretty awesome tool. Check the link below in the description if you want to see it, buy it, whatever. Uh, you can check it out on paulmitchell.com. We're going to get started with the video. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already so you get all the alerts on any videos coming up. And at any point, if you like what you're seeing in this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Thanks so much. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're going to start off today's technique. I'm going to prep it using the uh, Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Volume Whip thing I like about this product, it's got a really natural hold, but it's a great cutting lotion in a way as well. And I know a lot of people talk about cutting lotions. I think it's really any product that's going to benefit your guest's hair uh, because any product's going to give you a slight bit more control when parting the hair and sectioning. So our sections are going to be uh, simple. It's basically a center part and then it goes straight down center back. And then we do the division point, which is high point of the head down to behind the ear. So basically the four quadrants that you learn in beauty school or how we're going to section off this cut. We're going to do a very basic uh, one length cut pretty much. Um, that's going to start off. What that's going to do is give us that harsh line. Then we're going to go in and blow dry it and do some dry cutting to create the layering. So uh, pretty easy haircut, uh, pretty standard haircut. Uh, we're going to start off, I'm using the YS Park 334 comb. It's a little bit of a wider comb, but it still has nice tight teeth, so it's great for precision cutting. My scissor choice for this cut is my DB20 5.7 inch Mizutani scissor. Uh, thing I love about the DB20 is it has a ball bearing screw, so it's got a really uh, nice open and close to it. it, stays consistent all the time. And then also it's nano powder metal steel, which is a softer metal, and it, it basically is a more consistent metal. Not necessarily softer, because people get freaked out by the word softer. Um, it's more consistent, so you get a better grip on the hair when you go to cut it. Uh, basically, the way that I was described is that it's the same technology as making a Blu-ray disc. So think about that when you got a laser going over it. If the metal isn't, or if the particles aren't consistent in that, you're going to get all the skipping and all of that. So if you think about a scissor, you want all the particles to be the same. So nano powder metal is just basically saying it uses really small particles that are identical to help make up the scissor metal so you get a nice crisp cut. Um, a lot of people like a buttery feel to their haircuts, but that honestly, the, the buttery feel is the hair pushing a little bit. So um, I like to have that grip on the hair when I'm cutting. So to talk about the haircut, basically what we're doing is I'm using comb tension to hold the hair down and cut it at where it lives. Um, for the most part in the back, I just took small sections, worked my way up horizontally, and cut across. I'm doing the same thing on the sides. What this is going to do is give me that blunt edge uh, that I talked about in the very beginning. I love that blunt feel of this haircut, and then I love the layers that fall on top of it. So what we're doing, uh, like I said, we're going to go through cut this blunt edge first, wet, uh, because we're going to get our hardest lines cutting the hair wet because it bulks the hair together, pushes the hair together, and then you get mu much crisper lines than when you do it with dry hair. 
Now I'm going to go in. I'm using the Paul Mitchell Neuro Blow Dryer and my Ergo Diamond Head Brush. This is a mini paddle brush. It's one of my favorite brushes out there. If you're like me and you love using a paddle brush, this is such a great brush for medium to short length hair because you get the same effect as a paddle brush, but um, it's just easier because it's a smaller brush going in. Now I'm using the Paul Mitchell Neuro Flat Iron just to iron the hair out. I know that at the end of this, we're going to have a more wavy uh, appearance to the look, but I want to smooth the hair out for the cut. So I go through, I smooth it out. You can see the blunt edge on the haircut. And now I part it in the center. I take diagonal forward partings. I bring them across the face. And then I'm going to do a tease cutting technique to start my curtain fringe. So I've done a video on this in the past. But the thing that I love most about this technique is that you get those jagged edges and it's not a harsh line. So when you're looking for a more soft razored kind of effect using a scissor, um, this is such a great technique for that. So about a one inch movement back and forth using the uh, tease cutting technique. And now here's the trick. Um, I go in, I take vertical, I move into vertical partings once I get to the side of the head, but then I take from the parietal ridge over and I disconnect the top from the bottom. So the disconnection that happens on the bottom, the reason I like to do that, where I cut it right there, the reason I like to do that is because that keeps my blunt thick edge on the bottom, but then layers everything from parietal ridge up. So you get that movement in the haircut, but you keep your blunt edge on the bottom, which is to me the kind of secret behind this haircut. Also, I'm over directing everything forward above the head. And what that's doing is it's layering, but it's also pushing the weight towards the back of the head. So she still has that longer hair. A lot of people with this length of hair like to go in with a wand iron and curl their hair around it. Um, if you take the hair too short throughout the entire haircut, they're not going to get that same effect. So the thing I liked about this cut and what kind of inspired me to do it was the fact that it had that nice wave throughout the cut, had a lot of texture to it. So that's what we're going for. I want to keep that length in the back so that she can get an iron around it. So again, take the vertical parting and then cut it uh, right around the parietal ridge and that will separate the top and the bottom. This comb that I'm using here, this is the YS Park 337, I believe. Um, thing I like about that, it's wide tooth. So I use a wide tooth comb when I go in dry cutting, and I use a more fine tooth comb when I go in with the uh, precision cutting. So here is the neuro angle. Again, it's patent pending, so the, the technology is Paul Mitchell's. It's got an extra long barrel, which is great for working the hair. Uh, if you think about those really tight curls that you get with a wand sometimes, it's because you can't stretch the hair out when working with it. Um, it also it heats up to 450 degrees. I never recommend that. Uh, we're going to take it up to about 375 uh, to keep the hair nice and healthy. And also, it's got that isotherm titanium, which helps speed up the, the heat. But the great thing about this uh, iron and irons that are made of this titanium and have this kind of technology is that it stays consistent throughout the barrel. It doesn't keep getting hotter and fry the hair. So we're also using the Neuro Style Protect. This came in the box, so I had a little mini version of it. So I wanted to use it on the hair. I love this because you spray it on the hair. It's a thermal protectant. I love the application of a dry thermal protectant when it goes on the hair dry because obviously I feel like it's doing uh, more work that way as opposed to just putting it in wet hair. So you can kind of double, double it up, put a little heat seal on it on its wet, and then keep protecting it through the dry. And it has a nice little hold to it as well. This is where I want to show you guys, as I'm going through here, you see I have it cocked at basically a 90, let's say it's a 90 degree angle. The cool thing about this is my elbow. You can see it's just resting. So I'm not uh, sh shoving my arm up in the air when I'm trying to work on the one side of the head. It's also great for people that do their hair at home uh, to style their hair at home and they want to use an iron. So this is a great sell for your guests as well when you're working in the salon. I'm finishing up with the Invisible Wear Orbit Hairspray. It's got a nice dry finish to it. Natural holds, not real firm. Uh, it still kind of tends and goes well with this textured look that we have here. So this is the end result. Pretty similar. Hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. All right, guys, like always, if you like the video, then make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and then after you've done all of that, post in the comments below. Let me know if you would like to win 
this iron right here. I'm gonna give it away. I don't need all these irons, so might as well give it to one of you guys. So post in the comments below why you want the iron, and make sure you share this video in your favorite hairdresser forum so you can help me spread the word of free salon education. I always love your guys' support, and I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, and remember, if you wanna get any of the tools that you saw in this video, the scissors, the combs, the clips, the brushes, all that stuff is available on freesaloneducation.com. We have awesome deals going on. So go check it out if you're looking to upgrade your tools. Thanks so much.